get started, we need to download an episode of a podcast. You can do this through Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever tool you use to download and listen to podcasts. Or you can go directly to your favorite podcast website. I'm going to use Radiolab, as you see here, and I'm going to select this episode called Why Fish Don't Exist. Radiolab has a download button for each episode, which allows you to save the podcast file as an MP3 directly to your computer. Now that we have the MP3 file saved, we need to convert it to a format that Edpuzzle can recognize. The easiest thing to do is to switch it into an MP4, which is a video file. If you run a simple Google search for MP3 to MP4, you will find dozens of websites that will convert these files for free. Let's head over to Zamzar, which is the first one that appears in my search results. Simply click the green Add Files button to upload the MP3 of the podcast episode, and then click Convert Now to turn it into an MP4 video file that Edpuzzle can work with. Then click the blue download button to save the MP4 file of the podcast to your computer. Now we're ready to head over to Edpuzzle, get logged in, and upload our podcast. Once you're logged in to your Edpuzzle dashboard, click on Add Content and then Upload a Video. Then select Choose a File to upload the MP4 from your computer. Once your video has uploaded to Edpuzzle, you can begin adding interactivity by clicking on it and then selecting Edit. Now we can cut our podcast, add a voiceover, or add interactive questions. To add a question, simply drag the playhead to the moment in the podcast episode where you'd like the question to appear. Once you've got it where you want it, click on the Questions tab at the top of the screen and select the type of question you'd like to include. I'm going to add an open-ended question for my students. Click Save to add this interactive question to the podcast. Add additional interactive elements and then click on Finish. At this point, your video is ready to go and you can assign it to your classes.